starting at 8, 7 central, only on The CW. Hey, this is Kennedy McMahon. Catch a new episode of Nancy Drew this Friday at 9, 8 central. Now attend the mystery surrounding a missing mother deepens tonight. Could a multi-million dollar fraud case be linked to her sudden disappearance? Plus, a fiery crash ends in tragedy. A woman is killed and a rising star with the Las Vegas Raiders now faces felony DUI charges. And piles of trash, rats and cockroaches in neighborhood fed up demanding action to clean up this growing health hazard now on the News at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Oman. And I'm Cher Calvin. Dark new suspicions surfaced in the bizarre disappearance of a 39-year-old mother. Revelations tonight that the company she works for is under investigation in a $43 million fraud case. KTLA Sandra Mitchell has the latest from friends and family of Heidi Plank. She's live at the missing woman's home in Mid-City. Sandy. Micah, Cher, could there be a connection to that federal fraud case? That's what investigators are trying to figure out. Heidi Plank's friends were back here in this neighborhood tonight, and they told me that she was definitely worried about something in the days before she vanished. Heidi Plank's mid-city house has been dark for more than two weeks, but tonight there are new developments in the disappearance of the 39-year-old divorced mom. Absolutely abnormal, unlikely. She would never just leave. Investigators now are considering if Plank's disappearance could be linked to her job as a financial controller. Her employer, Camden Capital in El Segundo, is under federal investigation for an alleged $43 million fraud scheme. Plank's friends say in days leading up to her disappearance, she was worried. She was really stressed and nervous, but she, did, she didn't go into much detail. The LAPD and federal agents served a search warrant at Plank's home last week, apparently seeking evidence in the fraud investigation. This is not her. It's, it's so unlike her, and it's so bizarre. On the day she disappeared, Plank's home security camera showed her leaving with her dog to attend her 10-year-old son's football game. Her ex-husband says she abruptly left the game early. She didn't seem agitated. She might have been a little bit antsy, but she left um, with her dog. And she just walked up to us and said, uh, I'm going to go. And then a few hours later, her dog was found wandering around an apartment building in downtown L.A. But Plank was nowhere to be found. Her friends told us tonight Plank would not willingly leave her 10-year-old son behind. She would never do this to her boy. You know, she's worked so hard and so hard in her custody battle for this little boy. You know, I'm his godmother and I've seen, I've seen it from the beginning to the end. Plank's friends also told me tonight they are planning a vigil for Sunday and they are not giving up hope that she will be found safe. We're live in Mid-City tonight. I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News. Mike and Cher, back to you. All right, Sandra, thank you. And breaking news in Willowbrook, where a seven-year-old girl has been shot and rushed to the hospital. It happened at a Chevron gas station around 845 in the 1300 block of East Imperial Highway. It's unclear what led to the gunfire or if the little girl was in a car, but officials say she was shot and wounded in the foot. Deputies responding to the call transported the girl to a local hospital where she is being treated for her injuries tonight. Rising Raiders star Henry Ruggs III facing serious legal trouble tonight after a fiery early morning two-car crash that killed a young woman. Las Vegas police say Ruggs's Corvette slammed into the rear of another car.